Hello everyone, this is Soft Reason. Uh, in this presentation, I will be demonstrating the easiest way to extend member like beam from one axis to another using this uh, particular project I'm working on. Alright, so stay tuned, like the lesson, and subscribe if you are yet to subscribe this is an hotel complex all right so actually the design is in progress so let's straight away go into the presentation i will be navigating to the level two so i'll double click right there the level two after which i will go to the plan view of that level two uh, so here we have um beams right away the beam connected this particular beam connected uh this column on the grid length x4 and as well as grid line x72 uh, so for restarts if i want to extend this beam to this grid line that is what we want to be considering in this lesson how to extend a beam from one grid line to another successfully uh, so for me to execute that what i will need to do is i will have to align this beam at first once it is aligned, i will right click and click on the property to have the property dialog of the beam just like this all right so the next thing i need to do since the beam anchors to the columns right away on the grid line x4 and i want to extend the beam across to grid line x73 this one all right so i will click on the x4 right away in the property dialog the beam property dialog this x4 click right there you can see it has changed to red color once you click and i'll go straight away and select the grid line x73 all right so once i select that you can see the changes right away originally here was x4 now it has changed to x73 so i won't make that change effective what you just need to do is to click on the update once you update it the first time update it the second time update it the third time you can see the beam has been extended through this column on grid line x4 to grid line x73 so this is the fastest way for you to extend your beam member during your modeling of your reinforced concrete and as well as three steel structures okay this structure is actually a an hotel complex right so for you to understand the nitty-gritty of proto structure and how to model complex structure very well you can't emboss me for a special lesson for i don't think it will be enough for the video tutorial we are sending across for our colleagues to learn from there i don't think it will be enough for them to be able to understand the use of the program very well but if you want to know the nitty gritties of the programs you can emboss me and i'll take you on a special uh, training so as to be able to do however complex structure you want to you want to model using protas structure and so i want to bring the presentation to a stop kindly like the lesson and stay tuned for more advanced lesson 
buy for now.